First, some general words. As you already know, Identity Manager since a while gets shipped with a web portal that is called Standard Web Portal, and that Standard Web Portal is based on a technology which is named Web Designer Technology. The Web Designer Technology is something one identity developed, and it is fully proprietary. This is on the one hand side perfectly good because you can build very fast, very stable web portals. On the other hand side, it is a little bit odd because the web designer technology is something even a web developer who is in any years in the business needs to learn. And that means at the end a five day and more course to learn how web designer works before such a web developer can start production work and develop front ends. This was leading to a decision in the past just to change the technology. And to change the technology means that at the end we moved to another platform. This is the HTML5 web front development with Angular as the development framework underneath. To prepare this type of development, during the last one and a half years, our developers was working pretty hard to change the paradigms of development and to move to another platform. With version 8.2 of the Identity Manager, we release first time a standard web portal. As you may remember, in 8.1, there was an operations portal based on that new technology, which was just a standalone, not customizable portal. With 8.2, we now release a new standard web portal, which is, let me say it that way, available and contains a lot of common features you like to use. During the next couple of slides, we have to talk about which features are available in the new world and which features are not available in the new world. Before we can start, we should talk in general about the both portals we have. There is the web designer portal. This is what we have in the past. And additionally to that, since 8.2 exists a new standard web portal. Both contain different feature sets. First, talking about the old world. Of course, in the old world, you will find all the features implemented in version 8.1 of the identity manager. And of course, the one or the other small new feature as well backported into the old world. But the majority of new features implemented into Identity Manager 8.2 was only implemented into the new standard web portal, which is an additional functionality, of course. Unfortunately, because of all the time it needs to move features from the old portal into the new world, in the new world are not all of the old features implemented yet. That means you have on the one hand side the old web designer based portal with all the functionality from 8.1. In the new world, that means in the new standard web portal, you have all the new functionality of 8.2 plus a big set, I like to say, of basics or of standard features often used from the old world. With that, you have two very different standard web portals where the one is equipped with different features than the other. It is necessary now to look into the details to figure out what is the best portal for you. If we look into the details, we first talk about not available features in the 8.2 world. First of all, the self-registration portal. This is not available as an Angular-based version which is not a pity at all because you can easily use the web designer version, which is as well shipped on the DVD. Secondly, some IT shop features are not available. These are mainly request templates, handling of terms of use. That means all the stuff you have to agree before you can start to request. Step up authentication for approvals with multi-factor authentications. That means to authenticate again for important decisions. From an attestation perspective, there is the assigning of mitigation controls while approving not possible and display of entitlements lost on deny decisions. At least step up authentication for multi approvals with MFA is as well not possible because the whole feature is not there. From a device management perspective, maintaining my devices is not available. And from an authentication perspective, the FIDO authentication and the maintaining of FIDO keys is not implemented yet. Now to the right hand side of the slide. 
The overview pages for role auditors and security officers are not implemented yet. From a business role perspective, split, merge and recover. You remember these new functions in 8.1 where it was possible just to split roles and to merge roles or to recover them is not implemented in the new frontend yet. And then several features based on their specific modules. From an Active Directory perspective, assigning machines to Active Directory groups is not implemented. And from a menu perspective, the complete area that was implemented under the menu governance is as well not there. Creating tickets and track status is not implemented. Editing reports is not possible yet. Editing risk index settings is not possible yet. The complete sub-compliance rule analysis is not implemented. The maintaining of software applications is not possible. And request of new SharePoint groups is as well not implemented. Last but not least, everything that have to do with the cloud connections, that means the native cloud connections to the identity manager, UCI web, EPC web, and of course as well data governance, is all stuff which is not implemented in the standard portal or not available as separate portal. And now let's have a look on the new features implemented only into the new world. There is application governance, new functionality in 8.2 and available as well as part of the new standard web frontend. The basic IT shop configuration is in 802 first time available in the new standard web portal. That means you can now as well configure your IT shop in the web world. Exclusions from dynamic roles are possible, but only in the new standard portal. A simpler model just to do delegations is as well implemented and to trigger and security incident process for identities is as well implemented in the new world. Also available in the new standard portal is a new way to detect attestation objects. This is a selection on a spot check basis. And available as well, it's a very nice feature to just select IT shop products by peer groups. After we saw all of these details, the question is what to do. To be honest, for a more huge customer, it's a little bit odd because we have a couple of new functions in the new standard web portal and we have the majority of old functions in the old standard web portal. That means, I guess, that for these customers who are using a lot of features, both web front ends are necessary to reach the goal. Maybe it is a good option just to link the new standard portal uh, in the old world. That means you will add on a customizing basis in the old standard web portal menu entries and these menu entries then will deep link into the new standard web portal. With SSO enabled, it should be possible without any additional authentication to jump from one portal to the other. From a media breach perspective, it is not perfect, of course, because the old and the new standard web portal are looking quite different, but it will be possible to use all necessary features. What will happen in the meantime? In R&D, right now, all the people are working pretty hard just to get all of these missing features implemented into the new world. That means everything which is with version 8.2.0 of the Identity Manager not available in the new standard web portal gets moved or implemented in a way of that hopefully with the first service pack of 8.2, this is then Identity Manager version 8.2.1, a little bit more is implemented. I heard something about more than 65 features implemented into the service pack. However, with this service pack and maybe the next release or service pack after, all of these current features available in Web Designer of 8.1 will hopefully be implemented as well in 8.2.x or 9.0, depending on which product versions the development like to release. I'm sorry to say not the best sign, but it is what it is. But with that enormous amount of functionality implemented in the standard web portal, it is not possible from one release to the other just to implement everything. For bigger customers, it could be helpful just to be close connected with the One Identity customer success team or with product management to know best about planned releases. For all the others, there will be the next service pack or the next major release. I think there is an LTS coming, 
which is 9.0 of the Identity Manager, which will have more features than the older version. At least the standard web portal, it's a new portal. That means the one or the other improvement is available. And not the last, it will depend on what you will return just to make it slick, tiny and really great.